What's going on everyone? Welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome back to another episode of Film Stock Reviews. In this episode of Film Stock Reviews, I'm reviewing Malignant. Now Malignant is directed by James Wan and stars Annabelle Wallace and let me just say that this movie goes back to the horror roots that James Wan started with with Saw and Insidious and even the Conjuring movies. And I do want to say that this is an unexpected movie that you've never seen before from James Wan. The story is from James Wan and uh, the screenplay is by Akila Cooper. And this directing aspect that James Wan did for this movie is crazy. His shots are in it, the overhead shots of each room, the close-ups, the cinematography aspect, the the editing and the cutting, everything works to a pristine way with James Wan. And you can tell this is a James Wan horror movie. Now the movie starts off in 1993. As we see, it takes place in a hospital or a psych ward. And the reason being is that the this kind of, you know, starts off the story in a way where you don't expect it. Um, there's a doctor there by the name of Dr. Weaver, and she is trying to understand what this one patient is. And this patient is named uh, Gabriel, so to speak. And uh, it's doing all these weird things to these hospital workers and goers, and then all of a sudden it goes right into present day. And the interesting thing about this is that the way this movie is set up and the way the story is is very different. In my eyes, this is not really a horror movie, but it has horror elements to it. They call it a supernatural film or a slasher film. It's none of that. It's basically just an in-your-face thriller movie from start to finish. The character of Madison is played by Annabelle Wallace, and she is pregnant, and she loses her baby. Spoiler alert. And we don't know why. Um, but then all of a sudden, reoccurring things happen, and all of a sudden we find out that she has this imaginary friend that she has. And with this imaginary friend, things start happening. She sees visions of things. So you think that she is a psychic or she's a medium. But there's so much more to this that it's insane. And when that big twist, that big reveal is done in this movie, your mouth drops to the floor. Especially mine. Mine did. I didn't expect the movie to do a twist like this, it's a very interesting how it's done. It makes you think, you know, what happened and what could happen. And what is, you know, this character of Madison doing and how is she seeing these things happening right before her very eyes. It's interesting because something like this has never been done before in a horror movie or a horror slasher supernatural film. There's more elements to the thriller aspect, you know, the scenes. When there's not much jump scares or anything. It's just typical James Wan and maybe in the first... 45 minutes to an hour, but then it's like a interesting uprising story where you're like, all right, what's happening? What's this imaginary friend that Madison knows? What's going on? And how is she seeing everything happening? And when you find out in the end what is happening, it's incredible. Uh, this movie, to me, and when I started, I had very kind of low expectations to it because it's James Wan going back to the horror roots and when James Wan goes back to his horror roots you know you think like okay wow what kind of movie is he going to make because he did the Saw movies like the Insidious movies and the Conjuring movies like I stated in the beginning of this video and all of a sudden you see him do this malignant you know uh, it's it's crazy this has a feeling of You've seen something like this before, but you haven't. Trust me, you have not seen anything like this before. And if you're curious as to know where you've seen Annabelle Wallace, she was actually in the first Annabelle movie uh, from the Conjuring universe of films. She played the mother in that one. And uh, seeing her work with James Wan was great because, you know, seeing them, you know, work together was really, really good. And they have good chemistry with the director aspect and the actress aspect. And she's a very, very good actress. She's very underrated. She's been in other movies here and there, but for her to be in a horror supernatural thriller like this one is really good. And it actually fits the mold. Now, if you've seen the trailer that comes out with this movie, then you can put two and two together as to what's happening or what's doing it. And I actually kind of, you know, in one of my trailer reactions that I did for this movie uh, and I'll leave a link in the description box below and you guys can check it out I actually say like you know oh you think something's happening it's the imaginary friend doing something or she's doing it well I was wrong totally wrong and when you do it see what's happening then you're just like whoa blown away there's a scene in this movie where it takes place in a police precinct that is absolutely crazy 
uh, because you've never seen something like this in a horror movie before at all. This movie was released in theaters and on HBO Max simultaneously on the same day, September 10th, 2021. So I would say that if you want to see it in the movies, go ahead, go for that movie theater going experience, check it out. But if it's on HBO Max and you just want to sit in the comfort of your own home and check it out, do that. I actually say to just watch it on HBO Max this way, you know, you have that understanding of what's going on and you're not in a theater where people are jumping at spots that you're not supposed to jump at or like that because this is not. There are a few jump scares here and there or some, you know, usual horror trope to what's happening. But other than that, it's great. It's based on an original story by James Wan and, you know, uh, Akila Cooper and Ingrid, I believe, and Bisu. So the interesting thing is that when this is an original story and nothing has been done like this, it's good. So whenever James Wan touches a horror movie, it's going to be a masterpiece. And I don't want to say this is a masterpiece, but it's a really good movie. It's a good twist movie. You don't see it coming at all. And it's really, really unexpected. Uh, and the weapon they use in <laughs> this movie is different and original, and it's great. Anything James Wan mind works or how his mind works is really, really good. So for me, Malignant gets five out of five stars. I know some of you out there who have seen it are probably saying five out of five, why? Watch the movie, then you'll know why. And I really can't say anything bad about this movie because it was shocking, the twist was great, and it was very surprising. And the cinematography aspect from James Wan, the editing, the camera work is always stellar. I never have anything to say about, it, about his filmmaking. So let me know in the comment section below what you thought about Malignant. Did you see it? Did you not see it? And what did you think of it? And now will you be checking it out now that I've reviewed it? And what rating would you give it? I'll leave a link in the description box below to the trailer reaction that I did on my YouTube page. You guys can check it out. And I'll see you guys in the next review video.